so good. I also got a smoothie this morning, so I'm in a good mood. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. If you are new here, then don't forget to subscribe. And as always, if you'd like to follow me on all my social media, then that is right here down below. Today's video, we are doing a Primark fall haul. It has been a hot, 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 hot minute since I've done a haul, probably like a year, I don't know. But yesterday, me and my mom went to Primark and obviously with like COVID and everything, it's a little weird and bizarre. It was my first time back in a mall. I don't really like, I wasn't really going to malls like a ton before. Primark is typically in a mall. So yesterday was our first time back in a mall. We went to Staten Island and went to Primark and got whatever, you know, we wanted. You had to wear masks in the store the entire time, which was interesting and I was sweating and I hated it, but like, you know, we did it because you have to and that's just where we're at. The dressing rooms were not open because of COVID as well, which like kind of was great because obviously it took us less time in the store. And a second, I didn't actually like sweat my ass off. Like I was hot and I was sweaty, but like when you go in those dressing rooms, they are hotter than hell, I'm pretty sure. Like I, you wanna know what hell feels like? Primark dressing room, cause that's what it feels like. So I got tons of stuff, so much stuff because I didn't get to try anything on. So I didn't try anything on yet. I don't know if this is going to be a try on haul or not. I can't decide. But if you guys do like try on hauls, leave a comment down below. And if this isn't a try on haul, I'll make sure that I do try on hauls from here on out. So I think that's all I've got. So without further ado, let's get in to the Primark haul. I also got a smoothie this morning, so I'm in a good mood. Okay, I guess we'll start with like sweaters, clothes. Let's go with that. So I have two, like, you guys are probably not gonna be able to see it. Oh, two huge bags, so big. They're so heavy, so I bought so much stuff. All right, here we go. So first thing I got was this cute like cream sweater. I have a very similar cream sweater from American Eagle last year, which I love their sweaters that they release every year, but sad they have decided to not produce the same quality sweaters this year and they're not the same as the last two years which they're my favorite sweaters and they're so soft and when i looked on their website the other night they didn't have them so i'm sad about that so i figured i'd pick up a cream because this is always like my favorite color to wear i just love it this was good i got it in Ugh, an extra large. I like my stuff super big super oversized and it was only 14 dollars, which is really nice so Super excited with like a pair of leggings, y'all know. Love my sweaters and leggings. Then I got this sweater, which I think is like more of a turtleneck, I guess. It's like a higher neck, maybe even a mock neck, we could say. I thought this was really cute. I'm not a big gray gal. Like I'm not a huge, like this kind of gray. I don't like like a heather gray. I like charcoal or dark gray on the bottom, but I love color blocking. I love sweaters like this, sweatshirts, stuff like that. And this is only in a large, but it looks pretty big. So I think we'll be okay. But again, I haven't tried anything on, so I have no idea. This was also $14, which was a good deal. So after I saw that one, <laughs> I then saw this one, which is, I think the exact same sweater. Oh, whoops, it's backwards. The exact same sweater, just with a pink bottom instead of the charcoal bottom. But I loved the color blocking so much and I couldn't decide. I was like, which one should I get? Which one should I get? And my mom was like, just get both. <laughs> So I did. So this is like a blush color on the bottom, again in a large, but it looks pretty oversized already. So I think I'll be okay with that. All right, let's just talk about the stuff that I bought for finishing off the summer or whatever. So I bought these mom shorts, high-waisted and like a white cream, I guess. I'm always looking for white shorts. So I just figured I saw these, they were on sale. They say $13, but I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, here we go. There's a tag on here, they were seven. So I thought that was a pretty good deal that I was only getting them for seven bucks. So I figured I'd try them, you know, do what I gotta do. Try them on, they're mom shorts. I'll try try them and see how I feel. The other thing is that because we went to Staten Island and again, like I said, there were no dressing rooms, they have a 28 day return policy. So it's going to be my job within the next four weeks to try all this stuff on my mom's gonna also try her stuff on and then I will drive to the Staten Island Mall and return both of our stuff hopefully super it'll be super fast and super easy that's that's the goal is that I'm not keeping all of this I don't know what I'm keeping yet because again I haven't tried it all on so who knows sorry guys I'm like a little congested you guys know like this happens every like third or fourth video that I feel like I put on this channel I end up like having like a little bit of a cold or like an allergy attack like 
it's not corona, I'm not like sick, I just get cold pretty often and I suffer with really bad allergies, so. All right, oh, there's a weird sticker on here. You don't belong here, sir. Also, these are super high waist shorts. These were initially $15, but I'm pretty sure I also got these on sale for seven because all the shorts were $7. These are 14. They don't really stretch. Actually, they don't stretch at all. Like they don't really stretch at all, but I'm hoping that these fit because I really thought these were so cute with the rips. And again, $7. So we'll try those on. Hopefully they fit and if they don't, they're going back. Now getting into like, maybe not my favorite part of the haul, but like my second favorite part, jeans. I love Primark's jeans. I have said it many times on this channel. If you guys have a Primark anywhere near you, there are multiple Staten Island, Brooklyn, Connecticut, two in Boston. There's gonna be one in Jersey, super soon in the American dream. If you haven't tried their jeans, they're the best. I love their jeans. And I don't know what they're made out of because they're not made out of a real denim, which is like what I love. They look like real denim, but they're not. They're almost, all of their jeans are basically like a jegging. They're so, so stretchy. So like you can go down a size because they stretch so much and they're stretchy like throughout, like everywhere. It's just like so stretchy. And that's why I love them so much. So every time I go to Primark, I pick up a bunch of jeans. So these are ripped skinny mid-rise. They say mid-rise, but look at like where the seam is. That looks so high. Those are definitely high-waisted to me. So they don't seem like mid-rise. So I don't know, that's that. There's a hole in the, both knees and then they're pretty skinny at the bottom. So again, haven't gotten a chance to try them, but we will do so. And I've been looking for a good pair of black ripped skinny jeans. I can't seem to find ones that just like fit me really well, have rips, are skinny on my ankles, and then I feel like good and confident in, you know? Okay, then I got another black pair, but if you look at these two, the ones that, this is the one that I just showed you, and this is the second one. These are like clearly not black. They're like, I mean, they're black, but they're like a charcoal dark black, I guess. These are black. So we're gonna try both. So these are super stretchy skinny jeans, and they are super stretchy, like I said. Um, and I don't think these have rips. No, they do not. They're really soft though. I remember I grabbed them and I was like, oh, those are so soft. So they're not ripped. They're really soft, I don't know. But I was just saying to my mom, like I don't have a good pair of regular plain, no ripped black jeans just to wear like different things. Like even like, and this is gonna sound like really crazy, but like if I have to go to a funeral and I don't have a pair of like solid black jeans, I like panic in what to wear. Cause I'm like, I wanna wear all black, but like I don't wanna wear ripped jeans and be like informal, you know? So I'm gonna give those babies a shot and uh, see how it goes. Okay, here's the next pair of jeans. These are just blue jeans. These are the ripped skinny mid-rise. So these are the same as those black, very, very stretchy. As I said, they're pretty blue, but that's okay. These were $17. I think all their jeans are $17, which is awesome. Also the rips in the jeans, but I really like these. I think they're so cute. Again, skinny on the bottom, hopefully, because your girl doesn't have like big ankles. I have skinny ankles, so we will give those babies a shot as well. Okay, last pair of jeans, I know, it's crazy. But I always have to make sure that when I go, especially if I'm gonna go like in the fall, which obviously we did, um, I gotta stock up. But here is a dark wash jean. These are the same, ripped skinny mid rise they sure are. So, hole on this side, hole on that side, skinny at the bottom. These look more like an actual denim. They're also very stretchy, so we'll try them all <laughs> and I hope they fit. So now let's get into, I guess this is probably my favorite part, sweats. <laughs> I live, first of all, I live in this outfit that I'm currently wearing. Big t-shirt from American Eagle, I'll leave a link down below. And you guys can't see, but biker shorts, olive green biker shorts. They have like a little thing of material mesh, really cute. And they have pockets. Those are from Amazon, I'll leave a link down below for those as well. This is the outfit that I currently live in. I literally wear this pretty much every single day. And that's just like right now as we're like transitioning from summer to fall. As we get more into like fall, winter, I usually like to have like sweatshirts and leggings and whatever, pants, sweatpants. So hence why I got so many sweats. So here's the first pair I got. I thought they were so cute and so well done. These are Friends joggers and they were $14. So here's what the side looks like before I extend them. They're embroidered and I just thought it was really nicely done and they're really soft, but they just are black, you know, and they are cuffed at the bottom and they're just cute joggers. I just thought they would be really cute. So, and I love Friends. Friends is like literally one of my favorite shows. I love that they have a Friends line there. I think it's awesome. So excited to try those. I do hope they fit. 
praying they fit. All right, get ready to see a lot of joggers because there's lots. So this was the second pair I got, which now that I'm looking at them, I don't love. So I might return these. These say Beverly Hills 86. Honestly, I just loved the color. I thought the like mauve pink was really tasteful. I just really liked it. Oh, these are only nine bucks. Sick. I don't even know if they're worth returning. These are $9. So that's all they say. Beverly Hills 86. I don't think they have pockets. Oh, they do have pockets. Great. I love pants with pockets. They're great. But like I said, they're just joggers. So they are like cuffed or I don't know, whatever. Cinched at the bottom. So again, we'll give them a shot. They're only nine bucks. I'm not a big sweatpants gal. So, I mean, I love sweats, but just like, I don't wear sweatpants on the reg because I get really hot and overheated. So I did buy a lot of sweatpants and now I'm kind of regretting that decision, thinking that I don't really wear a lot of sweats. But hear me out, I just I just wanted like a really good pair of joggers. So I figured I'd just buy a bunch and since I knew I was gonna have to go back and return anyway, I just bought a bunch. I figured I'll try them if I like them, great. If I don't, adios. So I think this is the last pair of sweats, XLs, whatever, totally fine. I got a nine. I think they're the same as the Beverly Hills ones. These are just unmarked. Yeah, they are. They're the exact same ones. They just don't say anything. So I feel like I would return the Beverly Hills one and keep these. I love a green color like I wear all green and green all the time I think it just looks good on my skin tone so you know we'll give them a shot we'll see I have a feeling I'm gonna end up returning them all watch so now moving on to probably my favorite al uh, album album whoa where did that come from probably my favorite item that I got in this entire haul I'm obsessed is this Hudson Columbia sweatshirt. So I did a haul on this channel. I think I said it had to be about a year ago and I got a sweatshirt very similar to this from Primark and it says Nashville on it. Or does it say Tennessee? No, it says Nashville on it. And it's like a dark gray charcoal and it just like, it's like a teal. Oh, it looked, it's so cute. But I saw this one and I was immediately drawn to the colors. I think the colors are gorgeous. I think this is such like a unique color for a sweatshirt. And we know I love pink. And so I showed it to my mom and she was like, Hudson Columbia, why would you want something that says Hudson Columbia? And I was like, I don't know, I don't care. I just love the look of the sweatshirt, don't you? I love it, and it's just like oversized, and ugh, I'm so excited to put this on my body. Like, you have no idea. So, so, so excited. And the fact that it's like exactly like my Nashville one is a bonus. And honestly, it's so soft inside. So, so that's my like go-to sweatshirt is my Nashville sweatshirt, I love it, so. This is definitely a keep for sure. I also got that same sweatshirt in just a plain black. It's just like this huge oversized, it's like slightly cropped. I don't know if I said that about the last one. It is cropped though, but it's just the same one in black. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't know if I'll just keep it plain black, which is like totally a fine option, or maybe I'll like get a vinyl, not a vinyl, like an iron-on transfer and put something on it that I want, or maybe I tie-dye it or bleach it. I don't know, I haven't decided yet in the comments down below. What do you think I should do to that black sweatshirt? So moving into some like more like unique stuff, I guess. I guess you could still consider the sweats. I don't know, I just thought this was so unique and so cool and there's that color blocking again. I'm obsessed. Oh, there's like a thing here. I think there was like a magnet in there or something. I am obsessed. I think it's so cute. The half black, the half white. I love a black white, you know, look. I think it's so cute. The zipper, there is a hood. I'm not a huge hood gal. But, you know, we'll deal. I just thought it was such a cool look and like the material is so unique. I'm not sure like how to describe this material to you, but it's cool because it ties at the bottom. There's like this pocket, you saw. I don't know, like is there a tag in here? Maybe I can see like what it's made out of. I don't know, it doesn't say, so uh, who knows? But it was $18, so who knows? Maybe I'll try it on, we'll see how I feel about it. Have, can't decide if it'll go back or not. Um, I just think it's cool. I don't know what I would wear it with and like, cause like the material is so weird. So it's definitely like fall for sure. Like I definitely don't think I could wear it in the winter. I would be cold cause it's not like a heavy material. So who knows? Whoops, I missed a pair of sweatpants. So here's a plain black, which is I think the exact same, yep, as the pink and the green ones that I showed you already. So these will definitely go back. These are $9. These will definitely go back though because I bought the friends ones and I bought the friends ones in the last minute. So I didn't realize I already had black. So these will definitely go back because I don't need two pairs of black joggers. Thank you. Okay, I also got this black top. I saw it in black and white, but the white was too small. And then I saw the black and I was like, I'm just gonna get the black. But it was so cute. It says size 12, $15, but it's really, it's really big. So I figured the 12 would be fine. So we'll have to try it on. I think this will be all right, but I think it's so cute. I think like maybe with like a little scarf, a pair of jeans, I think it's so fall. 
Okay, we still have a couple more things. I, when I told you I had a lot, I had a lot. I got this shirt, it was $14, might be a little small, I'm unsure, but I thought it was so cute. I thought it was like just a cute Ramon shirt and to wear with my biker shorts. Like I said, I'm literally living in big t-shirts and biker shorts, so I like the color of this and, but it's just, yeah, cute, like banty. So we'll try it with my biker shorts and see if I like it and I'm hoping that one fits because I really want to keep that one. Coming into some other things, I bought just a three pack of bras. I always buy bras when I'm there. I don't know why I'm leaning so much, oh my God. I always just buy black bras when I'm there. These looked good. They look like they had a higher side with some cups and I'm always wearing like these types of bras. So I don't know if that's TMI, but here we are. Okay, I bought two different things of socks. So this is just a regular pair of just, you know, regular socks. They're cotton rich, reinforced heel and toe, low cut trainers. I don't know what the reinforced thing means, but low cut trainers, which is good. I keep losing my socks. <laughs> in the washing machine in the dryer, so who knows? So I just figured I'd get, there's seven pairs for $4. I mean, it's so unbeatable, it's insane. It's so freaking cheap. So please, yeah, Primark, please go. It's so good. Seven pairs for $4, so I'm excited about that because I keep losing my socks. And then for $4.50, I got three pairs of super soft crew socks. And when they say super soft, oh, they are so, so soft. They're so soft. They're so soft. They're so soft. I don't know. I can't even. They're so soft. So good. I'm so, that's a happy purchase. And then the next thing I got were these $9 wet look leggings. It's one pair. Um, I do have a pair of leggings from Target that I got last year that are wet look. So they're not leather. I like the, I like that they call them wet look and not leather. But now that I'm hearing, do you guys hear that? which sounds like it's not gonna be good for me when my legs rub together. So I will try them on and uh, you know, go from there. So hopefully, maybe I can do that without, yeah, maybe I can get the sticker off. That's what we're gonna try to do. So I can return them if I don't want them. But I feel like they're definitely gonna like rub together with my legs, but we'll try. They're leather look leggings. Thought that was cool, very, very in. And the leggings that I got from Target last year, I absolutely love. So figured I'd have another pair. Everything is falling. My life is falling apart. A couple more things. You guys know I get these. I talk about these in every single one of my Primark haul videos. They are just two blender sponges, you know, literally beauty blenders, and they're $1.80 for two. And it's like so unbeatable. Like, there's like so unbeatable. I love them. So, beauty blenders at Primark, the best. I got a three pack of scrunchies for four dollars. I have these, but they are starting to wear down. Oh, and this color is really similar, which is nice. This is um, a velvet, and so yeah, and this is like a silk in the middle. But I thought the color was cute, and a blue, which I don't have. So I just figured I'd pick up some scrunchies because they're four dollars. It's a good price, you know. I also got this belt, which I wasn't sure if I was going to get or not. I almost at the end decided like, no, never mind. And then I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna get it because I'll return it if I don't like it. So it's $6, I'm pretty sure it'll fit. I kind of like put it around my waist in the store and it seemed fine. It's like a snake skin texture, but it's just like a big black belt. And I think the buckle looks really cool. It looks like really high end, high fashion. I feel like when I wear it, it'll look like expensive, which is cool. So I'm very happy about that one too. I also got a new little bag. I love their pocketbook, so their handbags are so cute. Just like one of those magnetic buttons. There's no pockets. It's a pretty small bag, but that's okay. I like a pretty small bag, honestly. And for the fall, I just like wanted a pretty neutral color. And this was <laughs> literally $5. So I was like, there's, I have to get it. Like, it's five bucks, I gotta get it. It's a crossbody, and I just thought it was really cute. So I'm excited to use that too, Will. Once I, like, I think for like, when it turns to fall next week on September 21st, 22nd, whatever it is, I will like officially transition to that bag and I'll be like a fall girl, you know? Okay, and last but not least are shoes. I got two pairs of shoes. I love their shoes. These are a nine USA, a wide fit extra comfort. I mean, they don't look super wide, but okay. They're kind of like a combat boot, but the heel is like what sold me. I think the heel is so cute. I got a pair of booties from them last year in my whatever, I think it was my fall haul last year. And I'll see if I can put like a picture or a clip from that here. They have like a fuzz around the ankle part and they're like super fall winter. Like I love them. I love them. I wore them to death last year. They're so comfortable, love them. But at the same time they're suede. So like when I wanted to go out to the bar, 
Not that that's happening any freaking time soon. But if I wanted to go out to a bar, I wanted to wear them. But I was always afraid they were gonna get like wet and ruined on the floor. So now I have these, which are black, and these are like a faux leather, I guess. So I won't have to worry about getting them dirty. So I'm excited about that. And like I said, the heel is good. What do you call that? Three inches or so? Two and a half, three inches, which is good for me because I can't wear heels. Fun fact about me, I can't wear heels. They don't work on my feet. I have flat feet. It's just not me and heels just like don't go together. So not happening. And here is that same pair of boots, but I did get them in this camel suede. Like I said, I have the other ones that are suede, but I just wanted to have a pair because I wore them to death. So I'm hoping I absolutely love these. I haven't tried them on yet, so I have to. Oh, these were 21 and these are probably 21 as well. Yeah, they're both $21, which like seems kind of like a lot, but it's really not for shoes. Like I feel like most shoes you get are gonna be like $20 and upwards. So just like in a camel color and I can't wait to try them on. I'm gonna have to try them on and I hope I love, I hope they're comfortable to walk in. I just, you know, all the above. So super excited about that. They're so cute. Oh, that's not it. I have one more thing to show you guys. These earrings are from Primark. So I got this little like, it was a five pack of earrings and there was like three pack, three different ones of them. And in every five pack, there were like a pair or two missing. And I was like, that's weird. It must, they just like must have fallen off like the cardboard cause they're not like, they don't, they're not held in with like a backing. They just go in each other. So I could see them easily falling off. So I picked up one pack and they were marked a dollar because they were obviously like missing earrings. But in the pack that I grabbed, there were three pairs. So I got three pairs for a dollar. So I was like, all right, I'm not that upset about losing the other two pairs because I got the whole thing for a dollar. And of course they're non-refundable because like once you put them in your ears, it's like kind of gross. But I was like a dollar, it's, it's fine. So I really only wanted them for this size earring anyway, because I want to get, so these are just like a cheap pair, but I want to get like a really nice, good pair of hoops about this size, maybe a little bit bigger just for my first hole. Cause you know, I got three holes in my earlobes so but I just really like this size so I don't know what are your thoughts do you like them I like them so if you like them let me know give the video a thumbs up comment down below if you like them and if you have any rec recommendations of hoops about this size maybe a little bigger I'm okay with like a little bit bigger but any hoops around this size just hook your girl up and let me know if you have a good recommendation because I am open to hearing them all right guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you like this video and again let me know what your thoughts are on try on hauls if you would prefer me to do try on hauls for the you know next forthcoming hauls whenever that is then just let me know i'm so glad i got to do a haul i feel like it had been so long i feel like i hadn't done like a big shopping trip in a while so this was fun and exciting for me and i hope it was for you too if you want to follow me on my social media it is in the description box below and by the time you guys see this i have officially launched my stickers in um my or on my instagram crafty page so i'll put the handle down here brianna's crafty shit so you can go follow that and I am doing custom illustrations. You can send me a picture and I'll illustrate it for you or I'm making stickers, like I said, and if there's a custom sticker that you want, whatever it is. So please go follow that page. If you like me at all, just go follow that page and go check out my new stickers and you can have a sticker designed by me, which is kind of cool. Primark does not have an online store, so I'm sorry I couldn't link any of this stuff for you guys, but if you have one near you, please go and check them out because it's the best and best prices absolutely love it if you guys have any video recommendations you guys want to see also leave a comment down below i'm definitely taking any and all ideas i think that's it i think that's all i've got for you guys so i'll see you guys next week for another video bye <laughs>